Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the Leave Insert Higher Level 2002 Paper 1 Question 2. It's Integration and Algebra. So first of all we need to do some integration. Second part in part B is the, the integration with an area. We have to set the, uh, the limits and work out for an unknown and the third part is going to be the simultaneous equations for the unknowns a b and c so let's start off with the first part with the integration so let's apply the rule on page tw um, 26 of your log tables for integration so the rule is x to the power of n will go to x to the power of n plus 1 all over n plus 1. So let's apply this to the integral over here. So therefore the integral of g of x dx is an indefinite integral. As you can see we do not have the limits here and here. So it would be equal to 2x to the 3 all over 3 plus 5 x to the 2 all over 2 plus 6 by x plus c. In the graph we have an area which is under a section of the quadratic formula. We're given specific values so between the limits of 0 and 2 which is denoted as region K we have an area result of 538 units so let's integrate and we can solve then and we can work out the this format of a linear equation okay so let's start off with the area is the integral of f of x dx is equal to 538 let's integrate so we will get ax cubed over 3 or over 3 yes and then we have bx squared over 2 and we also have ac by x Okay, and we will put that between plus c there for the indefinite integral between 2 and 0 so upper limit minus lower limit this is your 2 here and this is your, your lower limit 0 so when we substitute in we will get a by 8 over 3 plus b by 4 over 2 plus c multiplied by 2 and that's equal to 538 okay so all we need to do now is multiply everything by 6 and we will eliminate the fraction so let's work that out so 6 multiplied by 6 here so we get 16 a plus 12b plus 12c is equal to 3, 2, 2, 8. Now we divide across by 4. As we can see, there's a 4 up here. So that would be matching the coefficient in the question. So divide by 4 and the numbers will work out exactly as the numbers above. Okay, so that statement is true. Okay, and we have shown how to do it. The next part is solving the simultaneous equations. This just goes back to the algebra solving for three unknowns. I'm going to combine uh, the first with the second, and then I'm going to combine the first with the third. Okay, and we're going to subtract. 
okay the the three c so let's start off with the second minus the third so we're going to go to 28 a plus 9b plus 3c is equal to 879 i'm going to subtract this one so change the sign so we get minus 4a minus 3b minus 3c which will give us our cancellation of c's we get minus 807 and the first equation a and b will be 24a plus 6b 6b and that will be equal to 72 so let's take that as a equation we will use later just mark it okay and now we're going to combine um the third with the first thing so same procedure we will subtract to cancel the c's and this will give us an equation with two unknowns and we can solve so minus 4a minus 3b minus 3c is equal to 807 subtract everything and we will get 74a plus 12b plus 0 is equal to negative 144 now we're going to combine these two okay denoted with the circle let's combine those so ideally i would like to cancel the a so that means i'm going to multiply this one by negative three and let's see what we get so we're going to get 74a plus 12b is equal to minus 144 and we have negative 70 72 72 here 72a plus we have a negative um, 3 by 6 is negative 18 and also we're going to have a negative minus 3 by 72 is minus 216 all right so we get minus 6b is equal to negative 360 so therefore b is equal to 60 substitute the b into this one here and we will get 72 plus 12 by 60 bring it across divide by your 72 and we will get a is equal to 12 and finally if we rewrite equation one we can get c but remember c is equal to c will be equal to 269 minus b minus 4 over 3 a when we transpose the c over here and substitute in a and b and c will be equal to 193 and that's question two of the leave insert higher level paper one exam of 2022 thank you for joining maths plus